It's all connected. 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 It's <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, it, it, this is uh, January 11, 2021. 111. 111. Isn't that like a magic number or something? Is that, is it? I, I hear it is. 111 is a magic number of some sort. We will make it magic, Grimmier. Kate's connected. Ooh, Vinny's connected, and he's in the new year. Mm, Vinny New Vinny. Year. <laughs> Vinny or Vinny Ooh year, depending on how he uh, how you want to say that. <laughs> uh anyway, uh welcome. I am Grimner. This is Circolo here with me. From Oop. the wonderful land of Denmark and uh we are live right now on RealLibertyMedia.com dot com and RLM radio dot XYZ as well as tune in and RealLiberty dot org and Oh, who knows where else we may be. Um, all kinds of places. Anyway, come on over, jump on into the chat here on, uh, on, I, uh, on, on, well, <laughs> you can do it from reallibertymedia.com or rlmradio.xyz, uh, or the show page, uh, for it's all connected right there on, uh, reallibertymedia.com. So all, all these places you can, can jump into the chat and say hi and howdy to all the folks that are here. Uh, you listening. made it easy for our convenience, sacred mirror. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Now uh, I'm I'm a little uh, I, I'm I I just got these things. They just came in like half hour ago. Uh, these these gloves that uh, are supposed to do something good for my fingers, and mm. and they say they're good for typing and all that stuff. So I'm I'm they're they feel a little different than just using fingers mm-hmm. though. Wearing a pair of gloves. Have you ever have you ever have you try, ever tried to type with gloves on? Uh, yeah, because when I broke my fingers, I wore those uh, um, pressure gloves for that's weeks. That, that's what this is. It's a compression glove. Yeah, because my fingers were so swollen. Oh, okay. Well, that's mm. and I got they're not like swollen, but they're painful. Um, uh, and, I anyway, hope they will help. yeah, yeah. So. Uh, so I got these gloves on while I'm sitting here, mousing and typing and stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> how how do you remain ungrumpy if you're in pain? I don't know. I just uh, I just do. Oh, well, that's a, that's a feat, I would say. Isn't that what you say? Well, my feet are fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> say that's like a an accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, today. Yeah. This is episode 25 of It's All Connected, and it's oh, en- entitled... It's like a jubileum kind of thing, right? A what? That's, you know, a jubileum kind of thing. A you what now? <laughs> I don't know if there's an American word for that, but don't you have you jubilees or... Oh, ju- jubilee, yeah, well, that, isn't, yeah. That, isn't that when they forgive all the debt? I don't know, here's, you know, when, I don't know what you call that, what do you call it, when, like an anniversary... I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyway, it's episode okay. twenty-five, and this this episode is entitled uh, "General Disarray." And uh, looking around the world, I think that um, the world, the human portion of the world, I should say, because if you look at the animal kingdom, nothing's changed. But uh, in the human portion of the world, <laughs> things are in uh, general disarray. <laughs> Because yeah, I was going to say the swans at the beach seem to not care at all. Yeah, they they don't care. Yeah, yeah. The nah. the crows that let that you know hang out in my yard, they're fine. They don't care yeah. about none of this crap going on. They don't yeah. have COVID or lockdowns or elections or selections or uh, mm-hmm. impeachments or attacking mm-hmm. of capitals or protesting in the street with. Uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, not so many months ago, we had a bird flu. You know, a bird uh, flu. Where did the, the bird? Yeah, fl- like a bird flu pand- pandemic going through Denmark, some places. So a Denmark. bird flu through Denmark. <laughs> some 
places. They had like pandemic-like bird flu, where birds got ill and died. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, I didn't see the birds stay inside, though. Okay. Did, did were the birds wearing masks? No, they were not wearing masks. Did, either. did they? They were kind of just doing whatever it is that birds do. Did they shut down the bird bars? No, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> and they still came to feed on the seeds. Yeah, imagine that. So I don't know. And and now you got plenty of birds, right? Yeah, there are plenty of birds. Yeah, so I feed them. No lockdowns, no masks. <laughs> no, no. And the birds like are... these birds don't know what's good for them, eh? Apparently not. Yeah, they just live on, man. If they if they listen to their bird master, whoever that might be, <laughs> then they'd all be dead now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that would be look ridiculous, though, right? Uh, Some fat bird, you know, speaking to all the other birds, going. You'd have to. You'd have it's to make dangerous. You'd have There's to make. Uh, you'd have to make special masks for different kind of birds. You know, because whatever, yeah. f- whatever fits a sparrow is not going to fit a pelican. <laughs> no, you, it's it's beak dependent sizes. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, the ratio of beak to ear, apparently, even though birds have tiny inner ears. Right. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, Grimner. I, I don't either, but they seem to hear pretty well. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> oh boy! So, uh, tell me so, what? Yeah, general disarray. Yeah, general. T- tell me, tell me what you know, general disarray. Um, I, I guess if you're general disarray, that would be what'd you call him, Commander Chaos? Professor Chaos. Professor right? Chaos. Professor Chaos. Professor okay. Chaos. That would yes. be Butters, right? Okay. Butters is my favorite uh, South Park character. Uh, uh, you don't like Tweak? <laughs> no, I like Butters better. <laughs> like He's like, every, you know, my all-time favorite is Butters. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then there's Cartman. But, um, Cartman, but you general, can't forget. You like Cartman? Well, no, no, no. I'm just saying you can't forget Cartman. Cartman is Hansel. Yeah. Hansel is Cartman. Only... Only Cartman, whatever you're going to compare him to, he's even sicker. You will respect my authority. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, so tell me what you know about yesterday's protests over there in Denmark. Well, I know. That, well, okay, this is what I know. I was, look, I was looking for you. I was looking for you and Flash in the crowd. I, 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 oh, I, we don't I, protest. I, don't I protest. didn't see you out there carrying, no, I, carrying no, torches was, uh, and pitchforks. I was wearing my superhero costume, the uh, <laughs> the Aunt Apathy. That's my um, superhero name, right? Aunt Apathy. Yeah, I'm Aunt Apathy. Okay. Yeah. I, I think. I think. Uh, uh, and I was trying to flood the world to stop the corona. Yeah. I think over I here. I figured that that would make a bigger impact than yeah, uh, yeah, you're probably right. protesting. Sure. Super. No, I think it's a new day. This is like their first event. It's a new movement. Um, I just, you know, because you brought it up, and I figured you were going to ask, so I looked a little into it. And uh, apparently, they got like um, a Facebook page group. I don't know. I don't do Facebook, so I'm going to say a Facebook page, right? Okay, I don't do People them have either. So pages, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right, Roberts. I'm Aunt Apathy, the snail killer, right? I, and I'm pretty sure over here in the U.S. that uh, Pelosi has been renamed Aunt Tifa. <laughs> Aunt, <laughs> Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Aunt Tifa. Aunt Auntie Auntie Fa. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a new group, so they, I looked up, they had this Facebook page, right? Yeah. 10,000 people so far joined this Facebook page. Um, it's, a, it's a freedom kind of movement. They oppose every kind of force. So okay. they, oppo- they, you know, they oppose the uh, forced vaccines, forced uh, vaccine passports, the forced masks, the forced closing. They're against all the force. 
And uh, they, I, I linked it. They even wrote a song, right? <laughs> Made a so, video. So, so they've they've adopted the nap. The nap. The non-aggression principle. They, they, uh, this is what they said right before they started fighting with the cops, right? At the protest this Saturday. The first, you know, the speaker who went, eh, la, 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 welcome to the event. Uh, she finished the speech with, let's go um, tear down Copenhagen in a non-violent way. Okay, and how how is that done? Nobody knows. That's I mean, if, if you're, if you're out there doing destruction. <laughs> Nobody knows. That was one of the questions people had. Yeah, that's, uh, a, that's a good question yeah. because, uh, yeah. um, 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 yeah. you know, and, and unless it's like your own property that you're, that you're yeah. tearing down, then, then there's. But it's not. They're, you know, they're in the great Copenhagen streets, the streets of Copenhagen, right? Yeah. So apparently during that protest yesterday, which was like in two different cities, the two biggest cities in, in Denmark, right? right? One is Copenhagen in the east part of Denmark. And over on the west side, you have um, Aarhus, which is the second biggest town. And they were doing protests uh, both places. But apparently they found small um, firework crackers, you know, not the ones that give five, you know. Firecracker um, colors and all that, but the ones that just say boom. Yeah, firecracker, right? not a firework yeah. cracker, but a firecracker. Yeah, they found some of those taped to um, the sweets. They eat these really rotten fish in cans that are really horrible, but the sweets seem to like it. Yeah, so that's that stuff they make with. Them are... That's the stuff they make with why. No, this is, yeah, I think, but this is even like, it's not live fish, it's even worse. It's like when you open it, you got to be outside. It's really bad, and it sticks like shit, right? And, and people eat it. People in Sweden eat it. Gross. On dark rye bread, I would assume, right? I, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can do like a pickled herring. I can do like a little ammonia, you know, sardine or something, anchovies. Yeah, but I this like is sardines. really, uh, huh? So I like sardines, so those, those are yeah. fine. But this is like really, and they found some of those uh, taped with firecrackers <laughs> that were thrown at the cops, right? So they were throwing all sorts of shit at the cops yesterday. Okay. And they got into a fight with the cops, which was pretty much why the cops were there and why they were there, why, you know, the whole thing was there. Right. So they kind of got their way and they got into fights. And um, so far, I, I read 23 people were arrested in the two cities. Um, but I think all of them has been released by now. Okay. And and the charges against them were uh, throwing fish? <laughs> <laughs> Throwing, yeah. Well, yeah, they got charged with, uh, what do you call it, violence against a uh, police officer. Oh, uh, okay. Because they were all see throws, throwing shit, like like a can of fish with a firecracker. Oh, they threw the whole can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. I thought maybe they, like, <laughs> taped a firecracker I, to an individual fish. No, I think they were attempting to make a rotten fish bomb, right? <laughs> so that it would, like, you know, explode and go poof, everywhere, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It probably it, it was probably funnier when they thought it out in the shop than it actually was when they were doing it. Well, I mean, a firecracker is not going to blow up a can of fish. No. No. But but if not. they just taped it to an individual fish and threw the individual fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would go nice. yeah, yeah. Then you have to touch oh, the stuff, boy. though, right? Yeah. yeah. But that I think that is the total. I don't think that it was it, the group is called Men in Black. Yeah. And they're kind of um, kind of secret about who they are. Well, the Men in Black are like that. Yeah. So so they don't show their faces and stuff. And it was a wear black and be masked kind of event. All right. And and who is behind Men in Black? I I haven't figured out yet. All right. I'm gonna go with um um probably I'm gonna go with somebody on Freetown. Okay. Somebody who's somehow connected to Freetown Christian, yeah. So an anarchist. Probably, yeah. 
an anarchist getting everybody to l- dress and look and act the same. Probably. Doesn't sound much I like... Just go black. Just it, go black. It, it doesn't but sound... But that's the whole thing. It doesn't yeah, sound Yeah, it's a much, militant thing. Yeah. It, it does not sound like anarchy to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't think they're like... Um, doing it for anarchy. I think they're doing it for, for um, I think they're doing it against, they're just, you know. Against the totalitarianism. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's just easier and they're stronger if they're just in black looking sort of the same. Because the cops have cameras and everybody have cameras and there's tons of reporters and stuff like that. So it's not a bad thing to be somewhat similarly dressed and masked up, right? Yeah, no, that's a good time if to you're gonna throw, If you're going to throw if, if, shit at cops, <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, like your green polka dotted T-shirt and a, um, um, a red bandana isn't really going to um, help you, right? Unless everybody's in the green polka dotted T-shirt and a red bandana. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is Denmark, so people have um, black clothes, right, don't they? I don't know. This could be old Antifa people too. It could be. So they're pretty. They could be like the original Antifa, which were like anti-fascists in Denmark at least, and in Germany. You know, they were fighting the fascist state. We'll have to ask Antifa. Antifa. AKA Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> Oh, I just figured God. it's going to make a bigger difference as uh, Professor Chaos flooding the world, right? Right, right. Yeah. Yes, and that would be you. <laughs> you're out right there and with your garden you. hose. People think you're just gardening, but you're actually flooding the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. So now... Mm. um so that is uh, the anti-lockdown, anti-mask, anti-vaccine protest. Anti-force. Yeah. Anti-force. Anti-force. Okay, but yeah. is it anti-force against everything? I mean, are they doing anti-force against, say, taxes? Uh, they haven't reached that point. I think they're just, you know, dealing with what they think is uh, important right now. Which is like this whole lockdown and uh, face masks and the uh, vaccine passports that are being talked about over here and stuff like that. Oh, yes. The Kobe pass. Kobe pass. Yeah. <laughs> but they are, I can see, I was in there with my, and they are, a lot of them are, um, I could see what groups they liked on their Facebook page, right? Okay. And they were like anti-vaxxers and pro-truth uh, and pro-free energy and stuff like that. Free energy. Yeah. yeah. And how are they? How are they? How are they going yeah. to accomplish that little task? Well, I, I don't know. I think they mean um, um, free knowledge, right? Free knowledge. Free power. knowledge. Yeah, I get that. Free knowledge. Knowledge should yeah. be free. Uh, yeah. But energy that um, that requires some effort to produce. By somebody, and and that that effort is costing those somebodies some money, right? Well, I would assume that what they mean, but since they're kind of expressing themselves very cliche, but what they do mean is um, decentralizing energy, right? Okay, and how that, would you, and how that would that sh- how would that be accomplished? Uh, by um, turning your um, your energy productions and your innovation toward uh, decentralized energy production so that every person is generating the energy in their own homes. That would be great. That big would be great. Centralized power plants. As, as both, as Flash points out, open source and Rob points out, just release all the free energy patents. Because they're doing the opposite here, right? They're going with green energy everywhere. But they made this, um, they, I don't, I, right now I think they're starting the big project of building a massive uh, artificial island outside of the coast of England that's just going to be of, um, you know, energy plantation, you know, like a farm, an energy farm, right? Giant artificial. 
island U- using out in the middle of the ocean. Using windmills or what? Windmills and and, and uh, sun energies and um, you know solar and uh, wave and water energies and all sorts of um, green energies. Right? Okay, well that that does not. But they're building them like in a gigantic island, so they're gonna they're gonna not only because right now you know Denmark has its own power supply, right? Okay. England has them, you know, their own Sweden, Germany, all this, right? Right. And when they go to get them, they build these giant um, power plants, or as here, it's a farm, right? Right. Um, it's even more centralized. So, so instead of decentralizing, which we could do with all these, you know, um, once we do greener energy, that actually has the power of being decentralized, right? We, we need to get Larry Woods on the issue here. Yeah, he would. He would. He, yeah. would, he he's got the. He's got the design. He's got the. I think he's got patents. I don't know if he's got patents or not, but uh, he's got the design and uh, operational, and uh, he's, yeah. he's, he's being um, kind of blackballed by various goonermans around the world uh, mm-hmm. that, that don't want that free energy. As a, no patents, says Rob. Uh, so mm-hmm. um, e- either way, whatever it takes. Uh, I mean, uh, home-based energy production sounds awesome. Mm. Yeah, I would. That I, I mean, that would be a. Uh, um... Those are different men in black, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think those are the ones they're inspired of, though, right? The men in black phenomena. Yeah, I guess. You know. Only they're twisting it around. Yeah. Well, right. I don't know. But I would assume that is what, you know, because that is what I would go for, is always decentralizing what is most necessary, right? Sure. Decentralize everything. Decentralize currency. Yes. That yes. would be called crypto at this point, but... Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so anyway, all, all, all of this ties back into the uh, oppression by the various governments... Uh, within your zone there well i i don't in my yeah i would say so but it's just here's how i look at it Grimm, right the the um, the national cur or the the natural currency of power right right uh, at least with humans tend to always seek into centralization and, and hierarchical right well with with uh those that have the power to do so, that's why they call it um, uh, uh, the petrodollar, uh, because the dollar is based on, on petroleum in a large manner. Um, of course, it's supposed mm-hmm. to be based only at this point in time on the uh, mm-hmm. f- uh, full faith and credit of the United mm-hmm. States, which is, um, how do you have any credit when you're $30 trillion in debt? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, to but, who? Uh, to who? That's the funny part, man. Well, well, to the central banksters, of course. It, which is what? Which is what? <laughs> what do you mean? Who are the central banks? You can't own anything if you don't own it to somebody. Oh no, no, no! They they create the money, then they loan it to the various governments around the world, uh, and 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 then they say, okay, you have to pay us back this. Plus this. And what of course, does that have to do with you and me? Nothing. You don't owe them any money, right? I, I personally don't know. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know. None of us do. None of us do. It's like two fictive um, you know, uh, entities that doesn't exist that owe each other something that doesn't exist. Who cares? Why, are we, why do we care? Yeah. Why is it bringing us down? That's the most idiotic part of it. It's, I don't it's because you, it you, live, you live within the boundaries of an area that uh, some group of people that call themselves the government of that, that area have uh, declared we, we have a monopoly on violence here. Yes. So, so therefore, you will either obey us, or we will practice that violence upon you. Yes. Um, uh, so because that is what state is, though. Yeah, that, that is, is what state you, is. You know, that is the definition of state. 
is is a monopoly on violence. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. Right, right. And so everybody lives within some boundaries that are that are professed to be owned by this group of thugs that call themselves the government. And they, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and they take the money from the central banksters that are those are the only ones that are actually outside of the control of of the that gang of thugs uh that yes. will will practice that violence upon you if you don't do what they say so they borrow that money from from the central banksters uh the Rothschilds and such and <laughs> and then and the, it's money it's money i'm sorry it's money it's a control mechanism is what it is but money is nothing money is nothing Money is nothing. At, at some point, at some point, uh, when the when these guys started, uh, when the Rothschilds started, uh, they they were a place where you could store your gold, and yes. and and then uh, uh, you could go back and pick it up at any time. And then they realized that most people were not going to ever come back and pick up all their gold. <laughs> so they decided, hey, well, we can lend out some of these people's gold um, at, at a fee, which is interest. Uh, and, and then those those people that borrow against our our holdings, which are other people's deposits, other people's money, um, uh, then then that's how they would they would start their profit. And then and then they decide, okay, well we got to set some limits here. We'll say, you know, we'll, we'll only be able to loan out uh, X amount of times uh, what 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 we have on holdings. And then it came to the point where it was like, well. We want to loan out a lot more than than what, whatever that percentage was, so we're just going to eliminate that little gold holding thing in the background, and just lend you out paper, and and we'll say this paper is now the money, and and you're going to pay us back this paper plus an extra percentage of paper that we call interest. Well, where am I supposed mm. to get that from? We don't know, but you owe us that much, and if you can't pay us back. <laughs> Then we'll take whatever it is you got that you uh, borrowed that money from us to place uh, to, to buy in the first place. It's a scam. But it's a Ponzi scheme. It's a scam. Yeah. 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 It's a huge Ponzi and it's, scheme. Yeah. You know, yeah. And and, and when, when was it? When was it that they did the uh, uh, credit default swaps? I don't know. Oh, was that in 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 uh, late nineties or something? I, I I'm not sure. Because all the banks, all the banks, they lend out way too much, so they didn't have any assets, right? Right. They they had lend out way too much. So so one of the banks, they um, they have a 19 year old actuarian student, right? Okay. And they tell him, okay, think about this problem a little. We have no assets because we lend out way too much. We're way too over lend. So now we have a really big risk of um loans or uh credit you know defaulting right right so we can't we can't we have no liquids we can't trade anymore and everything was locked up and he sat down and he he made up the credit default swaps okay the, the derivatives he found a way yeah he found a way where he could calculate the risk of a uh, one of those credits defaulting right mm-hmm and then he found a, a model that would uh, price estimate that. Right. Yeah. So and and then he figured, okay, that's a product. Now I have I have a risk. I can price it, which means I can sell it as as a commodity, right? On the. So he they started selling off their risk for um, credit defaulting. And all of a sudden, they got because they were selling those. They got all these liquid assets. Yeah, Rob is probably right. In two thousand and five, they got all this liquid that they could then, you know, start a new bubble with. So that's how they do stuff. That's how they do stuff. Right now, they're they're trying to figure out if they can make, um, you know, your retirement savings, right? Yeah. Um. Human beings in the Western world, at least, we live longer and longer. In um, in Denmark, I don't know about America, but in Denmark, we live longer and longer to a speed where the um, retirement companies can't get their models 
to keep up. Right. So they're constantly readjusting how much money will we pay out a year for a lifelong payment uh, if, let's say, your deposit is 100,000 Danish kroners, right? Okay. So you get less and less because we're calculating that you're living longer and longer. Now, how much, so that, how, uh, how much, how many, how many kroners to the dollar or dollars to the kroner? Uh, um, five and a half kroners to one dollar. Okay. So a uh, hundred thousand uh, kroners would, would only be like 20 grand in U.S. dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's just an example, though, right? If if you have a one, if you have twenty thousand dollars U.S. dollars, how much would that pay you in lifelong, continuing payments, right? Right. That calculation is what um, most of retirement savings is built on, because they got to figure out how long do I stretch the money you have. Okay. Because if you have a retirement saving, it's a, it's a bet that you're going to live longer than their models foresee, so you get more than your money out. Now, and the bet for them is that you die before, right? Yeah. Do do you um do you uh, have over there, uh, as we do over here, uh, like I think like Social Security? Are you familiar with uh, Social Security? You know what it is. Uh, I think it's a private thing in your. In your part of the world, right? No, no, it's not. Uh, they it's steal, they thing. they steal money from everybody's check, everybody's paycheck every week uh, under a thing they they consider or they call social security, and uh, and then um, no, we don't have that. Yeah, depending on how much uh, you make at your at your peak amount uh, at the end when you retire. Uh, from whatever whatever job it is you're doing or decide that you want to collect back on your Social Security, which you can start doing at the age of 62 at a low amount or a moderate amount at 65 or more, I think 67, I think is the max. Um, hmm. and, and so they'll, they'll pay you every month out of this Social Security system from all the money they stole from you and everybody else throughout your entire working life. Yes, it should be built on. We don't have that. We have a tax paid retirement, which is like, well, the Danish retirement system is built of three uh, pillars, right? Well, first pillar is the tax paid retirement, which isn't very much. Okay, so that but that would everybody that means, gets it. But 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 for that tax paid retirement, they they steal from your from your paycheck, right? That's just it goes through your ordinary taxes. Which is that, that's a governmental benefit. That's a state benefit. Everybody above the age of sixty-seven, and now they're moving around with the age, but everybody gets it. Okay. Everybody gets a certain amount, and and no matter how much money you have, and I mean, what else you you you're getting, everybody gets a certain amount. If you then don't get too much above that, they double it, and then they have this thing if you're married and two. Uh, uh, retired people in one household, they give you some more. Uh, it's, it's a pretty uh, complex system to figure out how much you get, right? That's <laughs> yes, the <so>. first. <laughs> they have they have a very they have a lot of these rules about which how much you're getting, right? Yeah. So that's the first pillar. Then there's the second pillar, which is um, the line of work I do, which is uh, privately paid in retirement. So um, a pension, you get a pension. Yes, but they're usually part of your um, hiring contract and usually negotiated by the unions. Okay, and what but if... they're not law mandated and it's got nothing to do with state. Uh, but does that matter, like, how many years you work doing that job? Well, I pay it. Like, my, my personal retirement payment plan is uh, the company puts 20% on top of my pay that goes into my retirement savings. Okay. Anyway, if I don't I know how we, got, to, yeah. or how we went down. Oh, we went down that road because of the money is being paid. <laughs> um. <laughs> but right now, all these retirement companies, right, they're trying to figure out because they got a risk because everybody's living longer than they can, you know, we're getting longer and longer lives. Right. 
So they have a rich, rich because if you're paying out lifelong retirements, people living too long is a big risk, right? So and you're going to go broke. So enter COVID. <laughs> yeah. But they're turning that into a product, right? So now they're going to sell that on the market. They're going to sell what? The risk of people living too long. You can turn oh, that oh, okay. into so, a, a financial commodity and sell that risk. Yeah, as, 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 as derivatives. As derivatives. Yeah. That's 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 what money is. It, they're not real. They're derivatives. All okay. So how how do the men in black feel about all that system? I don't know. I think they're they have inf they're not. I think there are a uh, protest kind of movement. I don't think they're going to be a big political party with a full program. I think they're just here to say fuck this. No, uh, we're done. And I think they're here to give people who are done with this a uh, a voice. Okay, because I mean, it would be very, it would be very difficult for um, anonymous men to run for public office. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Uh, I, I, I mean, if you run for a political party, you have to have twenty thousand Danes, you know, sign their name that they're going to endorse you as a person. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's how you become a party in Denmark. That's why we have like thirty something of them. All right. I, I don't know how many parties there are here in the U.S., but they only count two of them. The rest of them are, are just, you know, like I don't know. I think there's side like shows or something parties in the Danish parliament right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None, none of the, none of the um, non-binary parties. Um, <laughs> every, every, we had uh, we had one political party called the Nihilistic People's Party. Oh, I like that. Yeah, they they their program was, uh, we are for sale. Uh, we promise we're gonna work on shit that will uh, better and improve our own political party's situation. Um, and uh, since nothing is important, uh, whomever will pay us is equally important. That doesn't actually sound very nihilistic. No, that's what they you know. Yeah, I mean that sounds like they're they're actually. Kind of going opposite they of what they've it. named themselves. Well, they had one very concrete. Um, they wanted more aid for ugly uh, for the preservation of ugly animal species. Okay, and and how do they, they determine what is an ugly animal? I think it's a subjective thing, right? They would have to have yeah. a, a, a animal appearance minister, wouldn't they? Uh, I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Who could say ugly or uh, pretty? All right, all right. So, but there's, yeah, been, yeah. But, but there's been no protests there in Freddie Town, or what, is that the name of your town? No. Freddie Town, no. Freddie Town, no protest in Freddie Town. Is that is that is the name of your town, Freddie Town? Frederiksberg. Yeah. Okay. Freddie Town works. Um. <laughs> Freddie Town works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's uh, named after King Frederick, who built the big uh, still, and they, it it was founded as a city uh, where they made cannonballs for the king, right? And he built this uh, big cannonball uh, uh, steel thing, and he dug all the canals. Well, he didn't. Um, I think mainly German and Swedish um, prison workers did, right? Okay. Dug all the canals from the. We are very close to the biggest lake, and uh, into the fjord, which is you know leading to open ocean. So, uh, you know, it's, it was a good place to have a harbor, and uh, you could get the the cannonball straight from the <laughs> factory into the water. <laughs> yeah, so he right. built a. Yeah, it's an industrial city, right? We got a steel mill in the backyard. Okay. So yeah, it's with it's, their own harbor. So but I, but, but, but I like that. I like that phrase. Cannonballs for the king. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what he did. That's what this city was. It was the place they built cannonballs for King Frederick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cannonballs for the king. Wow. 
Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, you've heard about the crap going on over here in the U.S., of course. I would imagine yeah. the... So uh, what is your take on the um, puffuffle? The kerfuffle. Well, all these yeah. morons are calling it an insurrection, which obviously it was not an insurrection. Uh, on the on the last Wednesday uh, protest, invasion, whatever, uh, they're calling what happened there at the Capitol building in D.C., um, which they, uh, of course, it was, it was obviously a big false flag setup operation in order uh, to uh, create more division uh, uh, between uh, the pro-socialists and the anti-socialists. Um, which isn't really needed, though. <laughs> no, it's not because they're all socialists. They're, they're all socialists. They just don't realize it. They, they think that... That 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 if that if they say they're capitalists or they say they're Republicans yeah. or say they're conservative that they're not socialists, but they are socialists because they they totally endorse the government. Um, I they, don't. So they, so the guy with the you know with the horn helmet and the uh, oh he was he was he was fussy he, panties. Uh, he's he was just an actor, right? Yeah, he's a plant. Yeah. Yeah, a yeah. lot of those in that group though. Oh, a lot of them in that group were believers, and a lot of them were were um, just there to, to stir up trouble. So yeah, uh, there, there was. You there think was there both. were some good people in that group who really meant it and thought they were doing a good? Well, thing? I think they thought they were good people, but again, uh, they're mm -hmm. they're protesting um, for a president. <laughs> uh, uh, for for yeah, and 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 you know okay. Uh, so, so the election was stolen, uh, and that and that was done via the means of COVID once again, uh, Corona. Uh, so they they used Corona to do the setup uh, to create all the mail in, mail in ballots that would um, apparently allow them to steal the election. Of course, they didn't need any of that to steal the election, but. Um, because but wasn't the election stolen pretty much from the time the entire world started trash talking one of the candidates? Uh, the elections have been stolen. I mean, they're all it's been rigged for for decades um, here in the U.S. I, I don't know about uh, other places, but here in the U.S., uh, the, the the elections have always been rigged, uh, at least in my lifetime, which is sixty years. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, since uh, Kennedy on, uh, you know, I can't speak about uh, uh, his predecessors, but um, all these elections are rigged, totally rigged, and and so people go out there and vote like it makes a difference, and of course it doesn't. Uh, so um, uh, now this time, apparently they wanted you to know that yes, we are stealing the election, that that we are stealing, we that we are rigging this thing. Um, uh, which is why and, uh, and, uh, on that on that uh, like uh, particular election night, I think it was November third. Um, uh, they were they were saying they were counting up all, all these uh, uh, votes from various places, and then it wasn't really going their way, and so they shut it down. And then the next morning, it was all their way uh, because of some kind of magic that happened in the middle of the night, where a bunch of uh, mysterious phantom votes came pouring in, and every one of them for their guy, for their side of things, or their girl, I, I guess, depending on how you want to look at uh, the, 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 the bite me, mm. uh, hairy ass situation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which, I mean, the candidates themselves uh, were, were a rigged situation. There's no way... Uh, I mean, looking at the people's enthusiasm for whichever that that the guy Biden. Um, <laughs> was, but what was, if the what if it tore the country apart? It, well, it, right? I, th I think that's the goal. If it just, let's just say, oh, it's okay. Well, then let's say it did it right. That, I think that's and the for goal. For some reason, it tore America apart down the middle. And and don't ask me which states are where because I have no idea. I'm excused because you think I'm fucking Holland, right? Yeah, yeah, or Finland or Iceland. Yeah. I don't know. Where <laughs> but let's say America got split in two, right? Yeah. And one part became the blue guys and the other part became the red guys, right? All right. And um, 
And so, here's uh, opposite. Are, are, are we, so blue uh, is, demo, is Democrat. Okay, right? are, are we going to... So, and, 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 and your part where you live became the blue country, right? Okay. Would you move? No. No. No, not, none of this shit's affected me in the, in the slightest. No. Um, I, I've... No. Uh, but but I wanna, I'm interested in which... Uh, where, where Would the division come north to south, east to west? Would it be diagonal... Um. <laughs> I definitely because of your history, I would say just um, just go with north and south, right? North and south. Okay. It's easy because you already got all the songs from the last time. And oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's, and that's, all that's, that, that's right? a party. Yeah, we got purple. We we'd be all purple. <laughs> <laughs> but you are all purple for fuck's sake. That's the whole point. It's a purple-headed monster. Oh, not that thing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said. What is that? Uh, the purple uh, people eating monster. Oh no, that's that's something totally different than the purple headed monster. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's the flying purple people people eater. Yeah, uh, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheb Sheb Woolly. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, boy. Lovely to see your name, Mary. It is. It's always lovely to see yeah. Grammy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really waiting for her really? to start. I'm really waiting for her to get back on the radio. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I get to her. it, Mary. I, I Come love, on. I love Grammy's radio shows. Me too. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna protest, Miss Mary, if you don't get your uh, butt back on the radio. That's right. We got our pitchforks and, and our tor yep. torches already. We, we we're gonna be the um, we're gonna be the women in green. Well, teal. Sounds better though, doesn't it? Wait, uh, women in green. Uh, so, so you're part of the Green Party now? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. That's why we're going to be uh, the um, the beings in teal. We're not men in black, right? So we're beings in teal for Mary. Okay, teal for Mary. Teal for Mary. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah, a anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we, anyway. <laughs> we we imported our pitchforks and our and our torches from Denmark. They had some leftovers after yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we're going to Oh, they, I think they will probably um reach reunite again and start it all over in a couple of weeks. All right. Well, we already got our we already got our stuff from them, so we're all right. Um yeah. <laughs> So so uh yeah, so anyway, the uh the uh Crap that went on at the uh, at the at the Capitol building last week. It was all a huge setup. It was all a, it was a false flag. You can call it what you want. It was it was rigged thing. It was designed to do exactly what they did. Now I don't know if you know or not, um, uh, but uh, well, Pelosi was behind the whole thing. Uh, Pelosi and her crew. Um, well, when when the She's Pro probably more her crew. Have you seen her? Oh, she, she's hideous. she's just terrible. <laughs> anyway, so, so when way. the quote protesters unquote broke in quote unquote uh, to the Capitol <laughs> building and started wandering the halls with inside the red ropes, I don't know. I don't know if you saw that. These these crazy protesters all staying within the red velvet ropes um, yeah. <laughs> and wandering through the halls, going into the offices. Now the people within the chambers, within the, uh, 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 the the House of Representative chambers, there, they all had gas masks under their seat, <laughs> under their seats. This because everybody is scared of everything. No, it was planned because they put them there uh, b before this event oh, happened, okay. so that they could make them all put their masks on for a photo op. Gas masks, <laughs> not 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 your yeah. typical. N95 masks. No, they they placed gas masks under the Ooh. seats of all the 435 representatives out there, so that they can all make say, "All right, everybody, put your gas mask on. We don't know what's coming." And then and then do a huge photo op to show that the fear they were in because the people that were they are supposed to be representing were coming in there to to rain rep retribution down upon their heads. Uh, <laughs> See, uh, and I think I guess you could tie all this back in uh, to the whole Corona nonsense um, and and the way they set all these things up to bring the anger, or get going back further to the beginning of the uh, uh, you know when, when Hillary was defeated, which of course that was a scam too. Um, 
<laughs> of course. Hillary was defeated. I, uh, this is what it's turned into, man, just like this big game of defeating, you know. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a cult of personality. Um, uh, and, and they they get you to, to say, I'm for this guy or that girl. And none, none, you don't hear any of them, uh, the, the voters or the politicians, none of them say, we want freedom. Not a single yeah. one of them say, we want freedom. They say, we want our side, our, 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 our personality person that we're a cult of uh, to rain these rules down upon your head. Or the other side does the exact same thing, doing the opposite. Um, mm. uh, but either way, no, I, none of them want freedom. They all want um, tyranny, uh, their, their stripe of tyranny, their color of tyranny, uh, what, whatever that may be. Well, they want the same. None of these politicians are running against each other. Now, I, I don't know They're if running know. for the same program. I don't, I don't know if you know who Christy Nome is. Uh, she, I do not. Okay, she's a governor. Oh, you're going to break my virginity on Oh, well, I, I think I might be too late for that. Um, <laughs> but, she's a governor. She's a governor. And, and, oh, uh, a nasty woman. Yeah. No, well, she, she, during this whole COVID nonsense, corona crap, corona balona, um, was really good, has been really good about it. And everybody was praising her. And even I was thinking, well, this girl's all right. And she and she's you know she's actually pretty nice looking, um, which is I guess beside the point when it comes to tyrants. Um, Does she play the guitar? I I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't have that piece of information. Uh, anyway, anyway, so everybody was praising her. You know how libertarian she was and uh, how wonderful she was against all the lies. Right. You, you remember the. Uh, the biker rally. Do you remember that? Did you did you see oh, something yeah. about yeah, the yeah, biker yeah. rally in the town and all the bikers? They're not the Americans are not. Yeah, they're I mean, gonna kill I mean, grandma with what, a bike rally. Yeah. What, what, what is it? South Dakota is that the is that the state she's governor of? Anyway, all that people praise her, all that wonderful stuff, and then yesterday she comes out with this thing because they're trying to legalize recreational marijuana there. And she came out with this big thing saying, this ain't got to happen here no freaking way. No. We can't let I'm people, no smoking Mother Nature on my watch. Nope. Um, uh, so. See, nah, nah. I got three rules that, you know, three rules that would um, would be my first three rules before I even, dis, you know, considered voting for anybody. Uh-huh. Okay. First off is um, they answer when I call. Right. Okay. I, why would I vote for anybody to represent me if well, they're not going to okay. take the phone? If, if, this per, right. if this person supposedly representing you is also uh, supposedly representing millions of others, and they're all, I would never vote for anybody who would represent me and millions of others. Well, well, then, that, then, then there's there's no point in voting, is there? Then they wouldn't answer the phone when I call, would they? No, I mean, there's, there's millions of people calling them and she's saying, we want this, mm. we want that. And whatever you say you want, somebody else says they want to ban. <laughs> yeah, see, that would see. My next one is they would have an open office when I came by, right? Okay. And again, there's that, that problem with the population. <laughs> <laughs> you know the problem with the population. Yeah, I know. Uh, and uh, and the last one is pretty much up there. Would uh, they they answer me when I write? Right. Yeah, they're not going to answer you no matter what you do. And, and, and you might get lucky to get a like a response email or something like that. Uh, you know, yeah. a, a pre a pre made response email. Thank you for <laughs> your interest in what we're doing here. Uh, we will put your uh, put your thoughts under consideration. Um, <laughs> I might consider voting if everything was that decentralized. Yeah, well then, you, then you just vote for you. No, nah, I'd probably vote for the neighbor because I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> well, I think it's way easier to vote for the neighbor and then yeah. bitch about what he does wrong and then call him up and say, "Man, that's just wrong, dude." I yeah, but, do that but for. yeah, because your your neighbor is not you and thinks differently than you do. Do you know how much maintenance there is in keeping a town running? I imagine there's a good bit. I I don't know. You got to keep up roads. I definitely. And if, if they would answer my phone and they have an open office, and I would I would probably consider voting some of those <laughs> uh, maintenance jobs out. You know. 
yeah. vote for somebody else to do it. Yeah, those that that I mean, uh, well, it's it's all private people that are doing it anyway, whether they're working for the government or not. There's still individual folk that are out there doing the job, and they have the expertise and knowledge uh, yeah. to do those things. So why uh, should you pay exorbitant amounts of stolen money? Uh, I'm telling you, the neighbor, Ole, next door, you know, rest in peace, Ole. He passed away a couple of months ago. Right. But he would have been a very, you know, he would have been the best. If, if I could vote for somebody to run the whole, um, you know, getting the best price for maintenance and rat control and all that, I would vote for Ole. Is that you know, a thing he, he would spend hours looking through their office and, and, and talking to them and figure out if they know stuff and how much they would do. He would get the best prices and the best people to do, to do the job. Now, is, is rat control a big is, issue over there? Well, it is in this street in the summer, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Because they're digging up the whole street. Um, we're doing completely new power lines, sewage, pipes, everything on this entire street, right? All right. So they did one half of it, and they're doing the other half of it, yeah. And so the rats come out? I would say so. Have you but seen? Have my you, house don't have rats, but have, across have you seen the rats? street, they had rats. Huh? Have you seen rats wandering up and down the road? Uh, not not running in the roads, no, but Hannah caught one. And I know they've been there. Um, there was one house, not you know, across the street, where they didn't really um, sort their trash for many years. Yeah. And that whole house is kind of a rat nest. A rat nest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, so yeah. are so are your your governmental offices. They're filled with rats. Yeah. And but those... I would certainly pay Ola to do. He would do a better job if he was still here. He's cheap and thorough and cared, right? Okay. Yeah. Olaf. What? Olaf. That's what you said, Olaf. Ole. Ola? Ole. Yeah. <laughs> O-L-E. Ole. Oh, okay. Ole. Yeah, ole. <laughs> Here comes the bull. Uh, <laughs> I bet you have one of those people in your town, too, that should be in charge of some of the budgeting, right? Uh, you know the do. people that can squeeze a cent, huh? I, there probably are. I don't know them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't care. I don't know about them. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, the uh, world anyway. is in a state of general disarray. The human world, again, let me point out, not the animal, not the animal world. Just the human world is in a state of general disarray, and it's going... The only thing there is to do is flood it. It's going to get worse. So we got to flood it, Grimmel. All right. we got to flood it. All right there, Professor Chaos. You got your garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send him a signal now. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to burn a torch and, and did, flood him with my garden hose. Didn't he have some kind of ray gun, too? Yeah, yeah, he did. It's been a long time since I've seen that episode, or any episode of South Park for that matter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would say it makes a, as much of a difference as the protesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's right up there. It's right up there. Yeah, sure. yeah. All right, at folks. least he's having. Uh, uh, he's got a really cool uh, costume, though. Right? Oh yeah, tin foil and, and cardboard. It's, Everything, it's awesome. yeah. Uh, anyway, we're gonna folks, uh, we're, 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 we're going to wrap it up here. Um, I don't know how much yeah. we actually covered the uh, general disarray going on in the world, but we covered some of it and tried to connect some of it back. Um, uh, what again, is there to cover? I'm going to quote my husband. I'm just going to say, what, you know, it's all been said. It's all been said a hundred <laughs> times in a hundred different ways. <laughs> a million times in a million yeah. different ways. But uh, that's okay. We'll say it again because we like talking. Um, <laughs> love you, Vinny. Yeah, we love y'all. We love y'all, all you yep. RLMers. Love you and, all. And those of you just joining us for the first time out there in Radio Land, how you doing? Go make your costumes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. There is no new info. Uh, but, but we like to you no. know, take what appears to be new info 
and and uh, show you that it's actually old info. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back again next Monday with episode 26 of uh, this particular show called It's All Connected. I'll be back Friday night with the Moose Girl on uh, the freaking Ooh. Freakers Ball. And um, whatever. Uh, thanks, thanks everybody, just for being part of RLM. We, we, we appreciate you uh, very, very much so. And have a great cool. rest of your day, and uh, uh, stay away from people. That, that's and my, build your costume. That's my advice to everybody. Stay away from people. People are filthy. And make a costume. Make a costume. <laughs> Be your own superhero and drown the world. And even if you don't care that they're filthy, they're annoying. So stay away from them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. That's it. We'll talk to you all later. Have a good day. Peace. Peace.